Olivia and today I'm going to talk to you guys about my New Year's resolutions. I know it's kind of late, I meant to do this video earlier, but I was just super busy in the beginning of the month so I didn't get time to, um, but I asked you guys on Facebook and you guys are like, you can still share it, it's okay. So I'm taking your advice and um, doing so, hopefully no one gets too outraged. So usually I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions because I don't feel like you need a new year to make any resolutions or changes that you want to do. Like you can do this at any time of the year and I still do think that. Although um, I think the difference for me this year is just working on a kind of business fiscal year um, that things are changing within my job and whatnot and that's why I want to make resolutions that have to do with that. So the first thing is that I want to take better care of my health mentally and physically and I know people are like, wait, what do you mean your mental health? Are you crazy? But as some of you guys know, I actually do suffer with anxiety. Um, I talked about it a little bit in a couple of my videos but I don't openly just expressively talk about it because I don't feel like, you know, it's not what you guys come to my channel for. But in the past year or two, my anxiety has gotten increasingly worse from when I first talked to you guys about it a little while back. And I think I just kind of let it get that way because I let the anxiety take over me and take control of my life and compromise my life. For example, I don't go out as much with my friends as I used to because I just get too much anxiety when I go out and I get panic attacks. Um, I don't even like go out for dinner because I'm scared of getting sick. I don't really want to go into full detail about what exactly my anxiety encompasses completely because it's a long, long story. The basics of it is that I've compromised my own lifestyle to kind of let anxiety take over me. Um, I don't even take public transportation because I get scared and I can't even take car trips because I don't like that either and that gives me anxiety too. So as you can see in the past year I've kind of just let my anxiety take over me and I've kind of missed out on a couple of opportunities uh, because of my anxiety. But this year I know I have a lot of opportunities coming for me um, when it comes to YouTube and my own job career as well and I don't want to hinder those opportunities by letting my anxiety take over me anymore. For example I got offered a trip to New York for YouTube stuff um, very soon and it took a lot of my effort to really go and say yes to this opportunity and, and I don't want to let opportunities pass by me anymore because of my anxiety. So the steps in doing so, I went to my doctor two weeks ago and um, I finally told them that I no longer want anxiety to take over me. I didn't take meds or anything for my anxiety before even though I was offered um, because I didn't want to, I don't know, just succumb to medicine. I felt that I could kind of just fight it off and I guess it's at the point where it's like I can't really do it myself anymore. So he prescribed me some medicine for my anxiety and, and that's the first step. And then also he suggested some therapy sessions um, which I decided to go for because I felt like it doesn't hurt to try. So I'm starting that sometime in March. And I want to continue taking steps to overcome anxiety and not let it take over my life anymore. I want my life back and I want to be able to do things that I did before and not be scared of um, succumbing to a panic attack or whatever it may be. So I also want to take care of my health physically because last year, ever since I got my full-time job, I've been really on and off with the gym, not very consistent, not committed, and I just was not happy with myself. And I could feel my body getting really like not healthy as well. I got sick like three times in the last quarter of last year. And at one point near the end of the year, I was getting like stomach and indigestion problems like frequently like every day of the week and I'm like this is not right. But then I realized I went to the gym for a couple days and the symptoms of the stomach and whatnot were gone. And I've been exercising regularly since the beginning of January and I don't have any more of that problem. So it kind of made me realize that exercise is really important and I know like people go around and they're like you know exercise is important but when you face the difference as abruptly as I did um, you kind of realize that wow okay taking 30 minutes to an hour out of my day to just go to the gym and do some quick exercises and work out it really does make a difference um, so those are my two keeping myself healthy goals also tying the two together the more physical exercise I get it's supposed to help with my anxiety and stress problems that I have and like I'm just like batshit crazy so my second resolution is career related and this year I really want to focus on solidifying on branding myself and I'm talking outside of YouTube as well I want to brand myself um, better in the marketing industry and just in my industry in general I want people 
people to hear my name, Sylvia, and be like, oh, well, not only does she do YouTube, she also does this and that and that, and make people want to work with me beyond just my YouTube, because, you know, YouTube is not going to last forever, and I'm kind of looking to the long term for this one, and I really think it's important, especially in my field, to brand yourself and, and make yourself your own brand that people want to work with, um, regardless if YouTube is over and done with. So the steps I took to do that were buying my domain, um, setting up my website, and I'm just setting up my whole website that encompasses, yes, my YouTube work, but also my work outside of YouTube when it comes to marketing and branding and, and consulting and all that good stuff, um, so I can be like, this is me and work with me. My website's still under construction because I know you guys are curious little monkeys, but I'll be sure to share with you guys once it's live and ready to go because I know um, some of you guys in the same kind of field as me would want to, I don't know, just be curious as to how you can go about branding yourself in the industry. And another thing that has to do with my career is that not only do I want to brand myself accordingly, I kind of want to give myself a new project entrepreneurial kind of situation, um, whether it be starting my own business or just doing something like brand consulting, um, just kind of having like a Sylvia business, you know, it's like I have a YouTube beauty cakes business, whatever it may be, and then I have my working for an agency kind of situation, but then I want a Sylvia business. I don't know, just kind of be able to offer something to the industry with my experience and knowledge and whatever it may be, and it'll be under the brand Sylvia, which is on my necklace right now, if you guys haven't noticed. I'm loving monogram necklaces. It's kind of off topic, but I'm loving monogram necklaces um, because, I don't know, maybe I'm just kind of embracing my branding right now. So those are my resolutions for 2015 and beyond because I continually want to work on myself as a person. I think in your 20s, it's all about working on yourself, whether it be, you know, health related working on yourself or career related working on yourself or anything else um, being in your 20s is about really discovering yourself and and solidifying yourself as a person and searching and and knowing yourself and I know it all sounds kind of cheesy and BS when you put it into like New Year's resolutions that's why I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions but um, these are really things that I do want to work on from whatever time being it now until infinity and beyond. If you guys have new resolutions, whether it be for the new year or any time of the year, I would really love to hear um, what you guys want to work on because it inspires me when I hear what other people are like wanting to work on as well and sometimes I'm like, you know what? I think I should work on that too. Well, let me know what your resolutions are regardless of whatever time of the year it is and uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See ya. Hey guys, it's Sylvia and I have my Boxing Day help you guys. I'm pretty sure Boxing Day is only a Canadian thing from what I know of. I could be wrong. It's just a day where all the sales come out and all the shopaholics go run free and do their thing.